Denver is filled with so much wonderful, colorful street art. One group that is helping you see all of the great murals around town is joining us this morning. We've got Yana Novak and Nick Fletcher, the co-owners of the Denver Graffiti Tour. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I love this because that's what I tell you. I take friends on unofficial tours. That's not wonderful. So now I know that there is a legit group that is going to take you to all the best places. Tell us a little bit about the group. So it's great. What we do is we actually like to call ourselves the OG tour. Yes, we you are. The first ones that came out. And we like to call ourselves that we both give you a little bit of a class on street art itself and what it is and what it's about, as well as we're going to give you the social, the political, and the historical context oh, of the I art. So we give you a little bit of an in-depth story about why the art's there, what the art is about, what it is about the artists themselves, and we try to tell you everything there is to know so that it's not just like, hey, cool art. Right, well, oh, that's a good point because, Nick, what about like the novices like myself? You know, we're not maybe super versed with art or anything, but we want to see it and we want to act like we know what we're talking about. Yeah, I think by the time you're done with the tour, you can have, you can pretty much know what you're talking about. You can point out some, some pretty significant artists that we have and you can seem like an expert by the end. I think by the end, I, I feel like a lot of people are sort of like already becoming that sort of annoying friend who like knows everything. It's always pointing things out to everybody. You're looking at me like you know that I'm going to be that annoying friend. I have a feeling there. And y'all might be the OG group, but you actually are celebrating the one year of, of you two taking over, starting as guides yourself. That is yes. correct, yes. Now we're really excited about that. It's been a lot to learn over the last year, but we really have been excited about that because we both live right there. And so it was really important for us to become really involved in the community and really get to know the artists personally ourselves and really give back to the artists. So because it is March and that's Women's History Month, you actually have some murals that are perfect for people to go see. We do. There's so many artists here in Denver who are female artists and who have done some beautiful murals in the area. So it's so worth it for people to go down to the Rhino Art Area and check out some of these murals. I know you guys got some clips of one of the female, some of the female artists who have contributed to some of the art in that area. And those are always so popular. You have some things with you this morning. I think this is important. I want to make sure that we have enough yes. time for this. In order to support these artists so that they can keep making these beautiful pieces of work, you don't have to commission something expensive. There are smaller things that you can do that still help their work. That is exactly right. So some of the artists made sure to drop off with me some of the things that you can get. You can just buy uh, stickers or pins from them because there's always something inexpensive that you can get from the artists that you can pick up that are less expensive for people to buy. So that's yes. one of the things we always want to point out that it's so important to support artists because art is such an important part of yeah. things that I think it's made worthwhile living. So always you can support them in an inexpensive way. You don't have to be able to afford something that's super expensive. Yeah. And smaller things like these are good yeah. ways for artists to get their names out because they put on a water bottle. Then people yeah. see that, you know, walking exactly. around with it. Well, even something as simple as following them on Instagram yes. or, you know, tagging them in a picture or something like that, you know, puts more traffic towards our site. So any, any sort of way you can honor them and the work that they've done. Y'all have me yeah. ready to go right yeah. now. Like, <laughs> I want to go on this tour already. For people that are going to come check you guys out, what do they need to know to prepare themselves for this tour? Because it sounds like it might be a lot of walking. It is. We, the <clears throat> main tour itself, because we offer two tours, there's the main tour, and that happens year-round, Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m., and that one is approximately two hours, two miles long, and then we actually, during the spring, summer, and fall, offer a happy hour tour, and that one we stop midway through at a bar and have it, people can order a drink for themselves. And that one's approximately a mile long, but it's also two hours. So we always say, make sure you dress in layers. As we all know, as we saw just this week, Colorado weather changes constantly. Yes, yeah. Um, and bring water and make sure that you're prepared for the sun that we get here, because we also get 300 days or more of sun. Dick so. keeps smirking at me over here. Like, when all the trouble stuff comes up, he yes. looks over at me. When you mentioned the happy hour tour, he was like, yeah. yeah. We've only sat together for a few seconds, and already he knows me so well. All right, where can people find you guys? Our website is uh, denvergraffititour.com. We're also obviously on social media, and we would love for people to join us. It's a lot of fun, and it's something that we're trying to show people that this is really interesting and fun, and the Rhino Art District is so much fun to check out, so it's worthwhile to come so down true. and join us. And as art is such a staple of our city, which we love so much. Yes. Yana and Nick, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you very so much. Thank you so much for having us. Sorry.